Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. I'm performing a bunch of maintenance on this 1987 300D Turbo, right? We all know that's a generation under the code W124. And it was brought to my attention that there is actually no real good video about replacing oil in the rear differential on this W124 generation. So I was just going to do it, but knowing that I have to film it for you, that's for sure. As in many Mercedes bands, the rear differential bolts on this one are on opposite sides. I put here the light for you and the catching pan for passenger side and if you look closely there is a bolt on the bottom it's on very bottom that means this is the drain and here you are looking on the differential from the back right move the light and the filler plug is actually right there that exhaust pipe is nicely in the way, right? Camera is too big, but you will see later what I will be undoing. And to start replacing this oil, we all know we have to start actually with the filler plug, because if we remove the drain and then we cannot open the filler, we will be in trouble. As usually, you need that ginormous hex number 14, right? And I will always urge you to clean that plug first, not to have any dirt, because you want to insert this hex as deep as possible. You don't want to strip that plug. I'm trying to show you the location of that filler, right? This is that 14 millimeter hex entering on the driver's side that differential. I have it all the way in, right? I recheck. That exhaust actually is pushing on the tool a little bit, so that's good, and I will try to undo it. And I got lucky. This one wasn't so bad. And I will keep loosening it, right, until I'm absolutely sure that it will go all the way out. And I definitely don't expect any flow from there, right? Because if you see how much oil is on top of that differential, there definitely was some leak, right? And it's not overfilled and it will be not overflowing. You see here that plug or bolt or filler bolt or whatever you want to call it. And there is so much dirt, sand, and road stuff right around this drain plug that I actually don't remove it immediately and I started cleaning around it because it's just too much. And as we discussed before, I'm cleaning inside of that plug, right? So that tool, that 14 millimeter hex, will nicely fit inside and I will not strip it. Uh, laying down here, working uh, right here on the ground just makes me realize I need to hurry up with that lift installation, right? This rotary is standing there but I didn't find the correct position and the anchors, those bolts are on the way, bought them online. So that will happen very soon, hopefully next week. Now I switch back to the oil catching pan instead of just the one which was for dirt. I put that filler plug back. When you do that, the oil, when you remove this plug, doesn't shoot out so fast. So it's a like a little hint or advice to anybody. And look, we got lucky. We got lucky these plugs were well lubricated 
by its own leaks, right? It's all wrapped in the oil. You can see after I broke it loose, can immediately use only my hand, which doesn't happen every time. Sometimes it's still hard to take it out. Those oil leaks are at least good for something, right? Removed my gloves, we'll keep the rubber one and let's see what will come out. Have no idea when it was changed last time. It'll be probably really thick and dirty. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely. And you see because I have that filler plug in, it didn't shoot all the way out, it just nicely, slowly going out. And when it will slow down, I will remove that filler plug. But this oil definitely needed to be changed. It's very dark. And we will look at it in detail in a few seconds. And we could see on the oil, right, a lot of... It's thick and I will almost say I see the, you know, the particles in it. And when I looked in this plug, right, like where are the shavings? This is interesting because the bottom ones always have a magnet inside to keep the shavings on it. Surprisingly, this drain plug has no magnet in it. I already tried. And now I can remove that drain plug, right? And the oil will not just start shooting out of the differential. Perfect. And I will let it drain for at least 10 minutes. And in the case somebody switched those plugs, I tested the other one, but it also doesn't have a magnet inside. The oil finally stopped dripping, so I can start installing the drain plug. I don't have a torque for this drain plug, so I will tighten it nice, tight and snug. You know. And it's time to start filling the differential with the new oil. If you look with me here, in the manual, right there, rear axle, 1.2 US quarts, it's either SAE 90 or 85W 90. So hopefully somewhere here in my still unpacked supplies, hopefully I will find the right oil. Before that, let's have a quick look on that old oil. See how black it is, right? It's really old. It was definitely good time to replace and it. I have my oil ready here, right? And with the little pump. And I will start pumping the gear oil inside of the differential. These pumps don't work very fast, right? So you have to be patient. But it's only, as we read, to take 1.2 quarts, US quarts, right? to fill this differential. Now, you can measure exactly the amount and then use your finger and feel the level which is at this opening, right? I personally go approximately that one quart. Then I start pumping the remaining and I'm just observing that filler opening. And when it will start overflowing, I immediately stop and let that excessive oil out and then I close it. And it just started dripping, right? You can hear it. So it's the time to stop and I will be closing it. Here you can see it actually with the snap-on 14 hex extension and the ratchet, so maybe that gives you a better idea, you know, where that filler plug is. And now it's the time to lower the vehicle, right, and go for the test drive, recheck for possible leaks. I hope you enjoy this video, that can help somebody with their own maintenance, and make sure you are subscribed, because I have way more videos coming your way soon. Thanks for watching, see ya!